Hello all of you, I am Beatrice Fouché, I'm the CEO of DS Automobile Brand and as you know we should have been together in Geneva today but we found a place, a specific place around Paris in order to present to you the new DS9, so please follow me now. So here we are, so please look at this beautiful car and this is the new DS9, the new sedan. Uh, completing the lineup uh, we already have at DS Automobile. So the first car we launched was the DS7, the second one was the DS3, and now here you can contemplate the, 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 the state of the art of what DS is gonna to sell in the coming months on the markets. And I'm very happy to introduce to you uh, Ivo. Ivo is in the car and he will come with me and he will talk to you about uh, the design of DS9. So, Ivo, the, it's floor, is, the floor is yours, yeah. Ivo. Thank you, Beatrice. It's nice to have a little close-up, first-hand look at this car, the beautiful car. Yeah. We're very proud to present DS9 flagship. Uh, come, come along with me and I'll, I'll show you just a few of the, the main features on this car. What's really nice about this elegant sculpture is we have the swage line that starts right on top of the headlamp and that links it all the way, running through the body side, all the way to the rear lamp. And what's interesting about the light with the, uh, the texture that we have here, with the scale texture, which is typically DS, at this position where you're looking at it, the swage line is actually moving up. And usually when you're looking at a, a sedan or a three box shape, you don't have this type of line that's actually moving up like it's uh, a yacht coming out of the water, picking up speed as the wind gets uh, into, into the wings. And uh, this is also reference to the DS of 1955, which had a very elegant way of pushing off. As you started it, it would raise up. And this raising line combined with the shooting brake, uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with this uh, fastback uh, uh, rear, it really gives it an elegant feeling. You can also see that when you're in the back of the car, it actually looks more like a coupe than a three box sedan. However, it has a huge, huge space because it is a limousine. And you can see a little wink to the DS of 1955 with the amber point, which actually indicates the area where the door opens. But I think we've talked enough about style and maybe we have to go back and talk a little bit about the technology that this body is enveloping. Beatrice. But, but Ivo, you don't want to talk about the front of the car. Oh, yes, I oh, forgot. You missed it, I think. Uh, I, yeah, I yeah, forgot. Please, please this, do it. This, this is a special point of the car that I love. Uh, when you look, at the, uh, you look at the bonnet of this car, it has a beautiful uh, strip. You can see maybe the detail. It has the Clou de Paris, which is a guillochage. I cannot translate it into f uh, English <laughs> because it's actually a French way of treating the metal. And this strip, is actually evoking uh, the great carrossier that we had in France, like Figoni Falaschi and, and Chaperon, which also uh, bodied our cars, uh, which had the hinges at the center of, of, of the hood. Well, of course, we don't open the hood anymore. It's right. not necessary. Yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't it's, forget it's, it. It's, so, it's over. It's we over. Don't we don't have to, anymore. but we yeah. have the just the beauty yeah. of the Acastia. Yeah, you're right. And this is why I wanted you to, to speak about the Clou de Paris in English, because uh, this is uh, one very interesting piece of the car. So now if I come back to technology, because uh, the car, the S9, is both technology and both uh, French savoir-faire in the car, uh, integrated into the design outside and uh, inside the car. Obviously, I want to come back to technology. What is technology? So first of all, the powertrain. So here, the car, it's a plug-in hybrid, 4x4, 360 horsepower, which is amazing, amazing powertrain. In addition to that, what is specific to DS and what, what will be provided to the client and to the driver will be three things. So first of all, the autonomous driving level two. Level two meaning that you can follow the car in front of you, but also you follow the lane. So you are free to think about something else, but, but this car will help you to drive better. Second point is the night vision. So it means that you will have something crossing the road in front of you and you will not be capable to see it and the camera will see it for you. So this is the infrared camera in front of the car. And last but not least, also the uh, DS Active Scan suspension, 
allowing the driver to the car, sorry, to anticipate what will gonna happen on the road and adapting the suspension of the car in order to have the uh, exceptional comfort in the car. So all in all, uh, in a snapshot, this is what DS9 is. Uh, we could speak much more about the car, but now it's finished for today. And I would like to hand over to Thierry Metros, our DS Design Director, who will present you the Aero Sport Launch, the new concept car of uh, DS. So let's go to Thierry Metros now. Thank you and good morning and welcome on board. Uh, we are here together in the interior of our next concept car, the Aero Sport Lounge. Uh, our key philosophy for this interior was to express the art of traveling. Uh, with a, a, a very pure interior, we are talking about luxury, serenity. And on this interior, we, we, I challenge, in fact, all my team to delete the screen from the, from the dashboard. It's a screen detox. And you can appreciate the purity, the simplicity of the dashboard. And in order to obtain this, to reach this target, we focus first for the driver on the EHUD, the head-up display. You have all the information dedicated to driving the car only. And after, you can share in the central part of the dashboard information with, with the passenger. Okay, you have just information dedicated to infotainment. And for example, when you heard a nice music inside your interior, you have just this uh, fantastic and outstanding uh, graphic animation and this uh, very beautiful uh, texture, uh, which is made with a satin, uh, satin cotton uh, textile. And it's very unique. And the last point is about the technology we developed for the very first time uh, for uh, in, uh, interior design. Uh, this uh, specific technology, uh, which is uh, a mix between the recognition of my hand with a camera, and we add uh, an haptic uh, technology. Uh, and you have the same feeling that it's, it looks like if you have hair inside your hand, and you can, you can control with a very high level of precision all the information on what you are doing, in fact, in the center of the, of the dashboard. It's just a fantastic and amazing uh, technology. And now I would like to invite you to discover the exterior of the Aero Sport Lounge concept. About the exterior, we stay very focused on to do a new generation of car. For this new uh, silhouette, for this new proportion of cars, it's a new concept, in fact, we stay very focused about the, the performance of the aerodynamics. And to obtain, to reach this target, to have a very high level of efficiency, we have a specific design, for example, on the C pillar, you can see, we, we work to develop this, uh, it's like uh, aeronautical uh, flap on each side of the car, and the, the, the air come behind this, uh, this uh, flap. The second point is about the light signature. Of course, we preserve and we continue to develop our strategy about the scale effect for the rear light signature. And something new, and it will be, it will be part of our future DNA, of our future formal language, the vertical uh, red light signature. About the front uh, identity, we imagine a strong evolution for the future uh, DS uh, cars. It's about a strong evolution about our front identity. You know the DS wings. Huh? Today, the DS wings are linked uh, to the headlamp. And in the future, you, we will have these wings on the top of the bonnet, made with body color. We would like to, to do a black bonnet to highlight these uh, two wings. And they, they are very um, efficient also for uh, aerodynamic uh, performance. And the second point is about the light signature. Uh, we developed for this car the second generation of the light veil, uh, which is this uh, graphic uh, line that are, uh, that are underneath the, he the headlamp. And this is uh, the technology that we are working on to introduce it in production as soon as possible, and very soon, in fact. Uh, and the last point is uh, the vertical DRL, we, which is 
a very important part of our DNA. We have it on DS7 crossback, on DS3 crossback, on DS9, and we would like to continue to, to develop this uh, strong uh, point of uh, our front identity.